Hey everybody, Frank with Aborigine Reptiles back with a video about um, our most popular animal, I would say, uh, especially for video uh, views, for sure. Um, I promised last week, gave you a little hint that we're gonna be uh, waking up the knobtails for breeding season. So uh, we're gonna spend a little time today going through what we do um, to prep these guys and get them uh, set up and ready for the season. Um, just some background. Uh, up to this point, for the last month and a half, two months, we've been keeping them um, at about uh, the high 70s. This room uh, um, here gets to uh, gets to the high 70s during the day, low 70s at night. Uh, never really drops below that, even though it's been really, really cold here in uh, upstate New York. Um, but they... Uh, we, we turn off the heat tape on these guys and kind of just let them do their own thing. Um, we cut back feedings to maybe once or twice a week. Um, we do keep a water dish in there, but I do not spray them like I normally do. Um, so it kind of mimics a dry season, a cooler dry season. Um, but now we have been increasing the temperatures. Heat tape's back on. Um, we're almost up to a full 90 degrees on the uh, hot side. And uh, I have been misting and increased feeding. So. Um, today, you're going to watch us what we do in terms of getting the tubs set up for um, the pairings. I keep these animals individually typically, um, so they're, they're in a pretty um, spacious accommodation for one animal, um, but obviously uh, you need two animals to make more animals. So we're going to be putting the um, males with the females also, um, but we like to start getting these cages set up um, appropriately with some deeper sand in the cool end, um, and some uh, new fixtures. Also a, a little bit of different type of sand over on the cool side just to help with um, burrowing for laying the eggs. So I'll get into that a little bit more in the video. So uh, plenty of amazing B-roll coming your way of these cute little guys. Um, but yeah, so sit back and enjoy some great knobtail gecko video. And uh, I hope you guys give these animals a try. If you're uh, kind of bored with leopard geckos, um, make great pets. But if you're looking for something a little bit more exotic, something definitely cuter and uh, just as easy, if not easier to care for, check these guys out. Um, and a quick shout out to Gavin, my uh, new reptile friend who uh, got to watch us feed some of our animals earlier today. So uh, I said I'd give him a shout out. So. What's up, Gavin? And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, stay tuned. Let's go. All right, guys. So um, as you may have known, this is kind of the basic setup um, that I keep the pairs or single animals. Um, just a hide over here on the warm side, hide on the cool cool side over here. Um, this is kind of the off-season look. Um, pretty basic, uh, fine grain. Play sand, as we've talked about before. We have some rocks in there just to spruce it up and keep them um, engaged for enrichment. So we're going to go through. Um, I'm going to take these over and um, take the geckos out real quick, give it a good clean out, and uh, put some new fresh sand and some new uh, setup. And uh, I'll switch over to that now. So guys, what I did here is we took out the geckos, cleaned it out, cleaned the sand, um, and what we're doing is trying to bring a majority of the sand up here onto the cooler side. That's where the uh, geckos will typically 99% um, of the time lay their eggs. Um, just because it's a little bit of a cooler area, but it's not too cool. Um, also prepped some play sand and coconut core mix. This is the only time I know that sounds like a cardinal sin because you've heard me talk in the other uh, knobtail videos. We only use play sand, um, but we've learned that just mixing a little bit of coconut core, um, as you can see, it's barely noticeable. I mean, it's just throughout there a little bit. Uh, definitely holds a tunnel much better um, for burrowing uh, than just play sand alone. And so it holds a little bit more moisture. So what we'll do, we'll just put this on the cool side. Just again, we'll lump it up a little bit so that the animals have something to uh, easily nest in. Um, so we're gonna be doing that this year. Again, as you can see, just that little bit of moisture that's in that sand, just enough to hold the tunnel. Um, we're not making it damp by any means. So what we're gonna do is take this, put it in here, and then we'll do that with all of our 
um, breeding groups and we'll get things uh, put a little bit some some new rocks maybe uh, a couple of fake cactus something just something different for arrangement and um, we got a couple of things over there that we'll we'll throw in there as well as move their hides around just to again whenever we're cleaning out the cages with any of the animals i like to rearrange things a little bit um just again from an enrichment standpoint let's make sure that they have some new things to explore um so yeah so we'll do that and then um we'll get the geckos in there so let's uh go for it. All right, guys, so as you can see uh, through the magic of video, uh, did a really quick uh, run through there. So again, we got our high humidity high back there. Uh, it's one of the Pangea hides. Uh, link in the description if you'd like to get them. They're great uh, for any type of gecko, snake, anything of uh, smaller nature. They're, they have the two sponges on top to so absorb water, keep the humidity nice in there. And then we just have one of the regular hides here that I kind of placed up on top of the sand. Um, so that way they can dig down into there and burrow. Just put a little fake uh, fake succulent in there just to keep it something different. Have them something uh, they may, females may find a, an interesting place to lay their eggs underneath and dig through. So uh, kept the sand very thin back here by the heat um, so that they can get access to that easily. And again, it's much thicker. As you can see on the outside here, uh, pretty thick. Um, probably they'd like it even deeper. Um, so we'll keep a monitor around these ones. These are the smaller vertebralis, so they're a little bit smaller than your levis that we have. So hoping that will be enough, but we'll keep an eye on it as, as the season progresses. So pretty exciting about this pairing. It's our little guy, uh, Charlie, and our little beautiful girl there, Franny. Uh, put a comment in below if you know where those names stem from. <laughs> they're already darting away. Uh, checking out their hides so uh, we woke them up it's uh, about time to uh, turn the lights off so they'll be coming out and checking out everything so that's basically it we're gonna do that a bunch more times here with the other colonies and um, I'll do a quick time-lapse video of those as well and if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out also put comments uh, like subscribe and um, we hope to be seeing some great little baby knobtails later this season. Great animal, great pet. If you are tired of the everyday leopard gecko, um, which again, make great pets, but uh, want something a little bit more exotic and a thousand times more adorable, look at those big eyes. Um, knobtail geckos are the way to go. So, uh, Hope you like this video and stick around for some uh, time lapse of the other uh, other tubs that we're going to be doing, as well as some uh, cute candid shots that I'm going to try to get. All right, guys. Until then, we'll see you next time.